finally did it. I got acrylic nails. <laughs> I know, I know, I'm such a natural nails girl. I never thought I would get acrylic nails, but the day has come. <laughs> I have never ever had acrylics before. This is my first experience. So I thought I would do a nail update to tell you all about them and how I found having them, what they're like, if they're different from my natural nails. So why I got these, I had never actually um, intended to get acrylic nails or fake nails. As you guys know, I have put on uh, stick on nails before over Christmas just to see what they were like. I enjoyed having them but they wrecked my nails because I ripped them off and you don't want to do that. It took them a while to grow out again and I know that's silly because now I've just put on acrylic on top of my nails that just grew out again but I had actually cut them all off because they were growing back nicely as you can see in my Naughties Vibes haul video they were growing back nicely but after moving to uni I don't know what it was but they kept breaking they were cracking and too many of them were breaking so I just I cut them all off really short and then I just happened to walk by a nail salon one day with my new housemate and friend Abby she was like should we go get our nails done and I was like ooh I don't know, I've never really thought about it. And then just spur of the moment, I was like, well, I've cut them all off anyway, let's just do it. It was 35 pound for these babies. I got pretty long ones. I was going to get a neutral, like pinky, neutral lilac color, but then I thought, go big or go home. My favorite nail color is red. I think it's the most classic. I think it's the most timeless. So I went with a really bright, vibrant red. I I am really happy with my choice. This actually, this shade of red was actually the first nail polish I ever put on my nails. I remember having that nail polish when I was about six or seven, so this shade is close to my heart. Let's talk about what they are like. So getting them done was kind of not very impressed because when they were using the drill, I felt like he was rushing a bit. Me and my friend both thought so. There was only two guys in the shop who were doing the nails and we felt like they were rushing. When they clipped my nails down, like like they could have clipped them a little bit further and like filed them nicely but he just clipped them didn't really file them and then just stuck the tip right on if I go again I am definitely going to cut them down myself because I don't think he did a very good job at it also when they filed down my cuticles which really freaking hurt well it didn't hurt that bad but they did bleed a little bit like a two of my fingers or three of them like a little bit of blood came and I'm not squeamish or anything so that didn't bother me and I'm pretty like tolerant with pain so I was just sort of grinning and bearing it I was like Ooh, but I didn't say anything because I didn't want to offend him I don't ever touch my cuticles that much so that's probably why they were very sensitive but if I go back and get them again I'm gonna be pushing back my cuticles myself because I just I don't know if I trust someone else to do it when they were actually on though I almost got longer than this and I was like oh a little bit longer a little bit longer because they put it on and it's really long and then they cut it to the length you want and then it was too long and I was like actually can you cut it a little bit more so he cut it a little bit more and I'm so glad with this length it's the perfect perfect the perfect length for me so then obviously painted them and I got the shellac so they they last a lot longer and they're a lot shinier and they are much harder to like damage or like get any scuffs on them and it is 10 pound more expensive but I'm really glad that I paid that because my friend Abby got just the normal nail paint without the shellac and even though that she put them under the dryer for ages like she already like nicked it on our way home and now they've got like loads of scuffs all over them so I would recommend getting the shellac. The day after and a couple days after my fingers were really very tender similar to the feeling I get when I take off all my nail polish my nails would get very tender after my cuticles were very painful very sore well not very like it was bearable but they were quite sore but I spoke to a lot of girls who've had them done and they said like your first couple times they they are sore the soreness has gone away now I've had them for about a week and they're still freaking fabulous they haven't grown out at all yet I can see underneath my nail is starting to my natural nails starting to peek through a little bit which is why I was kind of annoyed I hope I was hoping he would cut them down a bit more but oh well they're just so shiny I could not stop looking at them I love that they're really hard and oh by the way I got the coffin shape because I thought it was sort of the most practical I guess because it still looks elegant but then it's not pointy so I'm not going to be like hurting myself but it's not completely squared so they don't look really in your face but they look a little bit more subtle sturdy they're just I don't know I love them 
I really love them. It didn't take me very long to get used to them, purely because of the fact that I've had long nails for a long time. Even when I do cut them, I still remember what it was like to have long nails, so I still know how to handle things. I still know how to handle a door handle and how to open a can and how to do certain things with the awareness that your nails are there and to try and keep them from, you know, breaking and or putting stress on your nail. Getting used to them was absolutely fine for me. I know a lot of people just can't deal with it, they can't hack it, but for me it wasn't really an issue. The difference, I would say, which I really like, um, and I've literally been feeling like I'm Lana Del Rey <laughs> because she always has the long red acrylic nails. So what I like about them is that they're, because they're so thick, they kind of come off the nail, if you know, what I mean like it like it's thick and a lot of people don't like the thick acrylic nails but I quite like it obviously having natural nails it's very thin and that's how you can tell when someone's nails are natural because it doesn't have that raised like bump that like big you know what I mean like it's like risen you know and when your nails are natural they're just straight like thin nails. I think that's kind of all I had to say really. I've still got a little boo-boo on my thumb where my thumb was bleeding and you can also see on some of my other fingers. Um, it doesn't hurt anymore but it's just healing where the he went a bit too close with the file and it like broke away some of the skin. There was also one nail that was a bit naff my pinky nail he didn't wipe the acrylic up properly and it sort of i guess it dribbled down my finger or not my finger but down the edge of my nail and so you can see it and i can feel it i don't notice it too much now it's just kind of looks a bit naff when oh and it feels a bit naff when you feel it why am i using that word naff <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> a few more questions that I'm thinking you guys might have. How to get them off and what am I going to do when I take them off. My university course starts next week and it is best not to have big long nails because it can interfere with your ability to act. Well not your ability to act but your ability to be certain characters. So I probably will be either shortening them or taking them off completely, letting my natural nails grow out. The reason I wanted to do this is because I knew that I had a couple weeks until I go back to uni so I thought why not this is how I saw it like I'm gonna have a couple months of university where I'm not gonna be able to have long acrylics on so that will be a perfect opportunity to grow them back healthy again I have no idea what they're going to look like when they get taken off <laughs> little bit nervous. After he's taken them off I'm probably just going to be super careful and wary with my nails and just give them a lot of love and moisture moisturization but I'm still obsessed. It's been a week and I'm still obsessed. I can't stop looking at them. They're so damn perfect. So I would recommend getting this coffin shape in bright red. Looks freaking amazing. I love them so much that yes I am wanting to get them again but it all depends on how bad the damage is. If you get them every once in a while, obviously the damage to your natural nail isn't gonna be so bad, but if you get them one after the other, after the other, after the other, your natural nails are going to suffer a lot. So I am very aware of that, I'm very conscious of that. Also, it does get quite expensive have a, if you're getting them done every month, so it, that's not gonna be me, but I've got some red nail polish, so when they start to grow out, I'm gonna paint like I guess paint around it so so I can kind of get away with having them for longer. I will let you know in my next update what it was like getting them taken off. Thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to follow my vlog channel. If you want to catch up with me elsewhere I have Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook and Twitter. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you liked it like it and if you want to see more from me please do subscribe. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next one. Bye bye!